You're ready for a deep dive into Tesla Optimus in 2025? Not Gen 2, but Gen 3 with tons of updates and mobility, and at the same time the ability to control power to suit each of its activities. Tesla achieved the ability to climb stairs in just three years since being a dancing suit on stage in 2021. Not only does it save us time or money, Optimus can even earn you thousands of dollars in a month. So how did the Tesla Optimus achieve this breakthrough? That's what we'll dive into in today's episode. And welcome to Techno Creators. Before we begin, please help us reach 4,000 subscribers. It will be a huge motivation for us to continue bringing you great tech episodes. How Optimus Autonomously Navigate, Stabilize, and Maintain Balance in Real World? Tesla has unveiled the best version of Optimus, and wow, it's impressive. Just look at it. It moves entirely without human supervision. Optimus explores its surroundings autonomously, gracefully avoiding people and obstacles in its path. Achieving these seemingly simple feats is nothing short of remarkable for Tesla. So what is the reason? Just take a look at Boston Dynamics. They spent over a decade to reach their current advancements, while Tesla has made incredible strides with Optimus in less than four years. Initially, Optimus moved at a relatively slow pace, reaching about 1.34 miles per hour in 2023. However, in its latest update, Optimus has increased its speed by 60%, now achieving 2 miles per hour, a promising improvement of 0.8 miles per hour. Tesla acknowledges that this speed is still below their expectations, but plans to further enhance it in the near future. Within less than a year, the 0.8 miles per hour increase is a remarkable achievement. Since Boston Dynamics Atlas has been moving at a speed of around 3.4 miles per hour since 2013, this is likely the target speed Tesla aims for Optimus to achieve, but it surely won't take too long. More importantly, Optimus's gait is reported to resemble that of a human by approximately 70%. Optimus's ability to navigate autonomously is primarily powered by neural networks developed by Tesla. This system operates directly on its embedded computer. Combined with AI technology, Optimus can leverage deep learning and computer vision, along with cameras and sensors, to achieve a high level of synchronization while moving or performing tasks. It also features an intuitive navigation system managed by fully trained end-to-end -end neural networks. Optimus is preloaded with a library of references for natural movements. Essentially, engineers have recorded human movements, such as retrieving a box from a shelf, and optimized that motion data to adapt it for real-world use with Optimus. Since Tesla's robot uses the same AI system as its vehicles, it can remember environments to enhance future interactions. Simply put, Optimus operates autonomously much like the FSD system in CyberCab. With a vehicle, you just press a button. With Optimus, you simply give a command and it will complete the task at hand. What helps Optimus adapt effectively to different terrains? To achieve the impressive balance and agility required for movement and task execution in factory environments, the meticulously designed legs of Optimus are indispensable. With feet closely resembling the average human foot, approximately 10 to 12 inches long and 4 to 5 inches wide, Optimus boasts a sturdy base that enhances mobility across various terrains. Tesla has also integrated an ankle-like joint, which improves both stability and flexibility, allowing Optimus to navigate effortlessly, whether climbing stairs or striking a yoga pose. But it's not just the legs that enable Optimus to excel across different surfaces. Tesla has also made significant hardware advancements. The latest model, Gen 3, is 22 pounds lighter than Gen 2, achieved through a smart combination of metal and plastic, enhancing balance and body control. This weight reduction makes Optimus more agile and responsive in a variety of environments. Importantly, the switch to lighter materials does not compromise durability. Optimus can lift and carry objects weighing up to 25 pounds, such as battery trays or component boxes, while ensuring the safety of fragile items. Its hands are intricately designed with 22 degrees of freedom, enabling delicate interactions with everything from taking photos at an event to cooking or mowing the lawn. Optimus can even pick up, sort, and adjust handheld objects, such as placing a fallen toy block back in its proper spot, all fully autonomously. 
How Tesla Developed a Unique Wireless Charger for Optimus Optimus is built upon everything Tesla has developed over the years, so it's no surprise that the robot features the company's proprietary battery technology. Equipped with a 2.3 kilowatt hour battery that integrates all necessary electronics, Optimus is well suited for a full day's work. It consumes approximately 100 watts while sitting still and ramps up to 500 watts during brisk walking or heavy tasks. The charging station showcased in the video is not just a unique creation, but a groundbreaking advancement we never imagined. This elegantly designed station is wall-mounted with a connector that extends 4 to 8 inches, perfectly positioned for Optimus's back. With one to three cleverly placed cameras, the charging process is entirely automated, requiring no human intervention. When Optimus's battery level drops to 10%, an LED on its head turns red, signaling its neural network to spring into action. Instantly, Optimus will autonomously navigate to the charging station, where it will recharge its energy, resting and recuperating after completing its tasks. This process not only ensures the motor operates smoothly, but also prevents overheating, optimizing the protection of the equipment. Once charging is complete, the LED turns green, indicating a full battery. At this point, Optimus will automatically disconnect from the charging station and resume its duties, all without any human input, showcasing the incredible autonomy of this technology. With this advanced charging design, Tesla is not only optimizing performance but also enhancing convenience for future users. Optimus can automatically locate and connect to the charging station, regardless of whether it's in a familiar or unfamiliar environment. This feature is reminiscent of the self-charging capabilities of CyberCab, which made a significant impression during its previous launch. It's a clear testament to Tesla's success in advancing automation technology, promising remarkable breakthroughs in the robotics industry in the years to come. Tesla will need 30 million battery cells by 2030 for future models. This is an urgent number that Tesla needs to meet or else the stock price will stop. Elon Musk has confirmed three breakthrough battery technologies that will revolutionize the electric vehicle industry by 2025. From increasing the energy density from 150 watt-hours per kilogram to 190 watt hours per kilogram of the blade battery, to the incredible 70% reduction in production costs of the 4680 Generation 3, or sand battery technology that can withstand temperatures up to 300 degrees Celsius when applied to electric vehicles. How will these batteries replace fuel in the future? All will be revealed in today's episode. 1. Upstairs like a human. Many people surprise. According to the latest information, Tesla is developing four new versions of its self-designed 4680 battery with a diameter of 46 millimeters and a height of 80 millimeters, which is expected to be launched in 2025. Earlier this year, Tesla announced that its dry electrode technology would be used for the battery pack of the Cybertruck for the first time. The 4680 dry electrode battery, possibly coded as NC05, NC20, NC30, and NC50 has been refined by Tesla and is expected to have a significant impact on the EV industry. Once fully implemented, Tesla believes this technology will mark a major breakthrough in improving efficiency and reducing production costs. Because the steps in this battery production process are not carried out in typical factory halls, but in specialized clean rooms with precise climate control, the costs of building and operating these clean rooms can be reduced if they're designed to be significantly smaller. Tesla is cautiously incorporating around 8% silicon carbon into the anode, which is much lower than the 50 to 80% concentration that could offer maximum range and fast charging. There are four variations, each with a specific role for different vehicle models and offering different performance levels when applied. The new 4680 cell manufacturing process also brings many advantages, including a reduction in costs by up to 50% compared to the current wet method. Elon Musk has previously predicted that the 4680 battery will cut production costs by about 20%, reduce equipment investment by 35%, and decrease the required factory space by up to 70%, with production costs as low as $60 to $100 per kilowatt hour. King upstairs like a human. Many people surprise is expected to be much cheaper than current lithium batteries, which range from $100 to $150 per kilowatt hour. 
This could significantly boost Tesla's competitiveness in the market. To compare Tesla's use of the 4680 battery with General Motors' Ultium battery system, GM launched the Ultium brand in March 2020 as part of its ambitious EV plan, expecting to sell 22 new electric vehicle models in the U.S. by 2023. However, the results have been underwhelming with a range of only 200 miles on a single charge and production costs that are over twice as high as Tesla's 4,680 battery. The 4,680's range will be much higher, reaching between 300 to 750 miles depending on the variant. The NC05 variant is expected to be used in the Cybertruck, Semi, and an undisclosed vehicle, with a 10 to 20% performance increase over older battery models and a range of 700 to 750 miles per charge. The NC20 with higher energy density will be used in SUVs and the Cybertruck, improving the range of the Model 2 by around 300 miles and achieving 80% charge in just 15 minutes. The NC30 and NC50 variants, featuring silicon carbon, will store more lithium, with the NC30 intended for the Cybertruck and electric vehicles while the NC50 is aimed at high-performance vehicles like the Tesla Roadster, offering powerful energy output and fast acceleration. 2. Blade Battery Instead of relying on expensive elements like cobalt and nickel, blade batteries use iron and phosphorus, more affordable materials. Moreover, the standout feature of the blade battery is its groundbreaking design, which is radically different from traditional lithium-ion batteries. Rather than using the typical cylindrical shape, Blade batteries are flat and slim, resembling a thin blade, hence the name Blade. This design allows for a higher number of batteries to fit in the same space, significantly increasing battery capacity without enlarging the size. Specifically, the Blade battery can store 50% more capacity than traditional batteries, while also reducing weight compared to equivalent models. Thanks to its special design, the Blade battery can handle large charging currents without overheating or compromising its lifespan. In fact, it can be fully charged in just 15 minutes, three times faster than a conventional lithium-ion battery. When it was first introduced in 2020, the Blade battery had an energy density of 140 watt-hours per kilogram, which has since improved to 150 watt-hours per kilogram. The latest version is expected to reach 190 watt-hours per kilogram, a 25% increase over the previous model. Additionally, it will reduce energy consumption by over 100 kilometers, potentially boosting driving range and overall efficiency. With these promising specs, the Blade battery is expected to offer electric vehicles a range of 400 to 600 miles, greatly enhancing their competitiveness in the market. One key concern is the durability of the Blade battery. It's designed to withstand over 3,000 charge-discharge cycles while still retaining more than 80% of its original capacity. This impressive figure means the Blade battery lasts two to three times longer than most common lithium-ion batteries available today. The Blade has also passed rigorous testing conditions, including being crushed, bent, heated to 300 degrees Celsius, and overcharged by 260% without causing any fires or explosions. 3. Sand Battery Unlike the two types of batteries that rely on hard-to-extract minerals, sand batteries use common materials like sand and crushed soapstone, a byproduct of the construction industry. This reduces production costs significantly, potentially dropping below $11 per kilowatt hour, about 10 times cheaper than current lithium-ion batteries. Sand batteries work with materials that have a high enough density to deliver good performance. According to the NREL prototype, Sand batteries use a conveyor belt to lift sand into heating units, where it is heated to 1,200 degrees Celsius for storage in silos. These batteries can store energy for weeks or even months, maintaining 85% of their initial temperature. The charging process happens when there's abundant renewable energy, such as on sunny or windy days, and is powered by clean energy sources. The sand battery stores heat stably at 600 degrees Celsius, with minimal heat loss over time around 500 to 550 degrees Celsius, even after extended periods. Sand batteries help stabilize the grid and reduce emissions by up to 70%. They don't release pollutants into the air and can be made using materials like silicon and coal mine waste, helping to reduce dependence on fossil fuels and cut down on CO2 emissions. Additionally, sand batteries have a lifespan of up to 10,000 cycles with proper maintenance, 
twice as long as lithium-ion batteries, which typically last around 3,000 cycles. Sand also shrinks over time and can be reused, extending the life of the materials. In short, sand batteries are not only cost-effective but also sustainable, contributing to environmental protection and pollution reduction. In the future, sand batteries could be used in electric vehicles, significantly lowering production costs. Sand batteries could give the EVs a range of 248 to 466 miles on a full charge, depending on battery size and other factors like vehicle weight and energy efficiency. What do you think about these three new battery technologies by 2025? Which battery technology do you expect Tesla to use in the Model 2? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. We hope you learned more about the three battery technologies after watching this episode. If you did, please hit the like button and join the Techno Creator family by subscribing to our channel. And don't miss any of our awesome videos by clicking the bell icon. We appreciate your feedback and time. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.